Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on the 16th, I believe. Yeah, 16th of September. FOMC day today, obviously, end of the day. Um, 8 p.m. Swiss time. This is the key metric. We also have, uh, I believe, UK CPI which is not that interesting. Uh, we do have U.S. retail sales as well, uh, which will be moderately interesting. Should be a quiet uh, European morning as, as per usual. First chart here is dollar czar, obviously through 55. You have to be short now. Next uh, levels that should be attacked uh, if, we, if the FOMC keeps policy ultra dovish, which it probably will is this 35 region, this low here on the June 10th um, was 32.04 so we have these sort of 35's and then we have this 32 a lot of people have drawn something like that but we can but until we get back above 55 you want to be short uh, dollars are euro no idea what happened at the figure yesterday. When I the figure, there was a big secret seller. Stocks higher, emerging market currency stronger. Um, Aussie and Kiwi holding bid. But then Euro just shat itself. Bang, 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 bang. Five hours straight down. In a low of 29 overnight. Um, you know, the chart says it was Euro Yen. Why, why were we selling Euro Yen yesterday? I have no idea, but they were. 124.40 is the interesting lows from beginning of the month from last Thursday. Who knows? Euro yen on its way down. Dollar yen, part of that equation. I thought dollar yen was just broad dollar selling. I didn't really take it as euro yen selling, but we're at the bottom of this pennant now, uh, heading into FOMC. <clears throat> Through 105, the figure, there should be, this thing might get some legs, right? The next level after that is 104.21. Um, is dollar yen quietly on the move? Looks like it is. We at Privateer say yes. Aussie not doing much here. Just kind of dicking around. Are we going to make a new high through 74.12? I don't think so. Are we going to sneak up through 40? Yeah, maybe. Just do a little Ethiopian shim sham up there. Um, we're waiting to sell Aussie, but we need uh, we need some sort of catalyst, some sort of risk off catalyst before we sort of jump on that boat. Dollar CAD's not doing much. Gold also not doing much. Same dollar yen type pennant is going on here, right? This is what a lot of people will be drawing and watching. Whether you're, whether you're a true believer in technical analysis or not, you just have to understand the basics in FX because this is a lot of people use it. You know, in stocks, you kind of have to know what the price earnings ratio is, and you have to look at volume, and you have to follow the news, and. Um, look at profits and follow earnings technical analysis less so in stocks but in currencies it works better it works more because mainly just because currencies are so incredibly complicated uh, people lean on the technicals more uh, than in a lot of other markets stocks speaking of stocks Maybe not. 
crude. Crude kind of heading higher. Um, not really doing too much. Middle of nowhere. This looks like it can sort of just ease higher. Uh, no dog in this fight. Crude. Still on the lower edges of the recent range. Stocks. Same type of deal. Lower edges of recent range. Are we going to pop up through 34.23? Sort of looks like it. 34.80 and 35.30, more importantly, are the huge upside levels. Um, you know, is this the top? I don't know. Uh, we did get 7% pretty quickly there. We do know that 32.98 now is super important on the downside. Uh, today, if the F FOMC does sort of nothing, um, stocks probably go a bit higher. Let's look at ZB. Be an interesting day to see how he, how he talks about inflation. If he still focuses on higher inflation, this could be a negative for ZB. On the other hand, if he talks about controlling the yield curve out to the 10-year, um, this I would say is mildly positive for ZB. So controlling the 10-year uh, is rates lower. Um, looking for higher inflation is rates higher, obviously. Um, be interesting today in the long bond. We're still core short. Um, continue to trade around the short side of that. Bitcoin popped up there after the 9,800 lows. <clears throat> we like being long Bitcoin. Um, just social amounts. Uh, treat it like a tech stock. I say this every day. I'm only putting the chart up here, not because technical analysis is interesting in Bitcoin. Uh, just to show you what the price is right now, and we can talk about it. Middle of nowhere, uh, not a lot to do on the tactical book in Bitcoin. Um, tactically, we'll try and do some scooping down between 8 and 8.5. Otherwise, we just sit uh, with some Bitcoin longs. That's about it. Not a lot to say today. Um, should be a boring European morning. Things start moving with retail sales in the U.S. And then obviously the stock market's been driving everything these days. So... Um, Cash open at 3.30. Get some rest. Uh, save your bullets. FOMC tonight. 8 p.m. Swiss time. 7. Obviously, if you're in the UK, um, this will be the bingo moment for today. Good luck out there, people. Talk to you tomorrow.